If you want to encrypt the data on your Android phone, there's plenty of things you can do. By far one of the easiest is to set up the kind of lock screen using your fingerprint, because by doing so, your data will be encrypted by default. Now, usually when you set up your phone, it'll ask you to create that kind of login, but if you haven't done it back then, well, here's exactly how you can go back and do it. First off, go into your settings, and then go down until you see security and privacy. And here you see a lock screen option. Keep in mind that a lot of these things we'll be going through today will differ slightly depending on which flavor of Android you have specifically. So this is what it's gonna look like for Samsung, for example. Now if you put an SD card in your phone for that extra storage, that by default will not be encrypted and you have to take some extra steps in order to actually do so, which once again, you can do via that same security menu on your Android device. Keep in mind that if you do so, the data from that card can only be read on the device. So if you pop it out of your phone and put it into your PC to try and copy some data over that way, it will not work. You have to unencrypt it first and then put it in whatever other device you want to use it in. Plus the process of encryption and decryption can take a long time depending on the capacity of the device. That's something else to keep in mind. Then there's also secure or locked folders. Again, the names will slightly vary depending on what exact Android operating system you use. It's a way to safely put away apps and any kind of files like photos, videos, etc. into a secure encrypted folder on your device. And that way, in order to actually access it, you are going to have to type in some PIN or some other kind of similar security measure. So it's another great way to improve security by having the most sensitive files locked away by an extra layer of security. And once again, it can be done from that exact same security menu. However, if it doesn't do everything you need it to do, there's also some other third-party apps that kind of do a very similar thing. You can get apps like Droid FS, Photoc, and even Google Photos itself does have an option to encrypt media on it via a locked folder in the Photos app. So those are all the main ways that you can encrypt the data on your Android device, including any kind of external media you plug into it, like some kind of SD card. So if you found this video helpful, maybe subscribe to How to Authority for more like this in the future.